the next few weeks, we will be back here to groundbreak on the most modern science and technology university on the African continent. <laughs> Furthermore, Kwanzaa will also attract housing for the over 30,000 residents who will be requiring at least 5,000 housing units. And I believe Konza will lead the way in modernizing our housing here in Kenya. This it will do by constructing high quality but affordable housing within a physical planning master plan that prioritizes social amenities, public transportation, and environmentally conscious urban living. So ladies and gentlemen, we must bear in mind that Konza shall feature supporting infrastructure across all sectors, institutions of higher learning, schools, research and development facilities, incubation centers, data centers like the one we have just opened, light manufacturing and industry, retail establishments, hotels, convention centers, entertainment facilities, stadiums, and cinemas amongst others. So in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, this Konza city is not just for the people of Makueni. This will service all the people of the Republic of Kenya. This will be the model on which the future of Kenya shall be built. So in conclusion, let me reiterate that the journey towards becoming an industrialized middle-income country is well on course, and we, I truly believe, are on the brink great transformation. The challenge to each one of us is continue to doing our very best to bring Kenya's great destiny into reality. And this requ requires that we come together as one nation and one people, putting aside, putting aside partisan interests and divides by building bridges between our communities and peoples. 